dealing with these different portals, y'all. We're dealing with these different portals. And as we're going through these different portals, all right? We're dealing with portals. And as we're going through these different portals, right now we're going to go into the Lionsgate portal. I'm doing a lecture on that. A big lecture on that on YouTube on probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Or probably at Monday. I don't know, but I need to get that lecture out, that information out. But because we're going through this portal, negative entities, this is why I keep telling y'all to get the sage. Notice I'm emphasizing this. Negative entities are trying different ways to enter this realm, okay? So a big way that they're doing it right now that you need to be aware of, all right? Because the portals are opening in the air. Portals are opening in the ocean, under the ground, all out through nature. I've been telling y'all this for a little while. But now it's speeding up. It's getting serious. Okay. Okay. A big way they they, they the walk in start August eighth. This is why they want to do the internet, the big lockdown, um, in New York. They talked about on August eighth. All right. Because of the walk ins. Okay. So these this walk ins. This is a serious thing. You got entities and beings. All the elemental beings. A lot of these beings that you that been here. Like I've been telling y'all, they've been here. Gnomes, fairies, trolls. Um, these are your elemental beings. All right. That, that's been here. All right, your mermaids, which are really the nomos, people are going to see more of them, mer more mermaids, more mermen. Um, a lot of different beings will be coming through these different portals because this is the time frame we in, all right? So be prepared to see more sightings and hear more about sightings because you're going to walk into the real world now. You're going to see your, your real reality. We're easing toward the real reality of where we are on this planet and the phase we are in, okay? So with us easing toward this real reality, we have to see the things that's always been around us. Once again, all is being revealed. So you got these negative forces and these negative entities that's been seeking out bodies. Okay? They want bodies bad. It don't matter if it's kids. It don't matter if it's adults. It don't matter. They need bodies. So a big way that they're doing it now is through sex. All right? It wasn't like that before at first. The penis and the vagina has always been a chakra. Okay? It's the sacral chakra. However, it was locked. Okay? Meaning it was locked from that. The 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 nether realms and from um, you know, these 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 principalities and these negative entities that preside in what we would like to call the nether realms or the dark world, if you want to call it that. But I don't like to use dark because, you know, they use dark to try to make it seem evil. All right. But when it's not. But, you know, these these evil entities. OK, so because they are desperate for walkings and bodies, they are now coming through the penis. They are now coming through the vagina. So they are now working through certain beings and certain people to to, to make them be more lustful toward others. To, to be, you know, watch you date, watch you sleep with, watch you keep around you, watch you have in your house, watch your kids is around, watch you have your kids around. Like because of these walk-ins, this energy exchange, this, the sexual energy exchange is a way that they can that they that they could take you under because it's it's another attack. All right. It's even it's it's another attack. And Because we are so, you know, I don't want to say uneducated, but unenlightened in the, in the, in the, all when it comes to your chakras and exactly, you know, where these stimulations and these, and these feelings come from and what they mean and the true purpose of the semen and the true purpose of spermatogenesis when the process of the sperm, you know, reaching full maturity, um, you know, we lack the proper information, you know, in that department, you know, that's been kept from us. Um, so when we talking about this world and this reality is based around couples, you know, sex is a big thing. All right. So if you got everybody like they like to go to the club and they always club like they normally doing, this ain't the time to be club hopping. You know what I'm saying? And even if you surround yourself around people, you don't even have to go to the club. The, the, the walk-ins, the body hopping, the body snatching is so real right now that you could just have somebody around you that's always in and out the club, but they're around a lot of people or they're or they around a lot of environments where it's a lot of different energies, where energies is mixing, 
that entity enters their 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 aura field through them and now they come around you and at a time like this where it's actual spiritual warfare that's dangerous because it's it's aggressive spiritual warfare right now so all right all the way down to like i say to the actual transferring of the fluids during the the process when sex is being had right now is at that point right when he's coming or when she's coming and the sperm is leaving out of him or the orgasm is leaving out of hers at that point where they are entering vessels right now as well so you gotta be you gotta be you gotta be real careful it's, it's real dangerous right now you know you want to be like i say you want to make sure you and your partner on the same level spiritually you know what i'm saying because just because just y'all live together don't mean y'all on the same level spiritually neither like y'all need to be communicating conversing you know what i'm saying meditating together um, you know, holding an open conversation, you know, trying to see where each other's needs are at. You know what I'm saying? Just just on a on a mental level, not even just on the like on the level of dealing with sex, just trying to see exactly where they you know, where they are mentally as well as spiritually, because with these walk ins, you know, just you know, you might go to sleep and, and, and they here and then you wake up and they gone. But you ain't gonna know the difference if you don't if you if you're not aware of these walk ins. Alright? So that's why that's why I told y'all, you know, when I said, Hey, Listen, this sexual energy exchange is a real thing right now, and, and they come through it aggressively. You don't even have to actually have sex with that individual just to have that exchange of energy. You know, through even through a conversation, they can latch on. Through a FaceTime conversation, they can latch on to your energy. You know, all they need is the eye contact the, the, for you to focus on them with your soul. All right? Because you give it when whatever you give your attention to, you give your power to. Remember that. So, in spiritual warfare right now, when we talk about sexual energy exchange, one of the most powerful energies on the planet is sexual sex energy. That's why if you know how to control it and contain it, you, you become powerful beyond measure. All right. So these entities are riding in your basic everyday, you know, it's normal for a goddess to go out and, and dress up and and, 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 and you know, find the God attractive and hold a conversation with him if, if he holds one with her. It's normal for a God to find a God is attractive and want to, you know, pursue her, right? But when we in spiritual warfare, just in those conversations, you could be attacked and spirits can latch on to you because the portals have opened, all right? So you got to really protect your energy right now. You know what I'm saying? You have to really, really, really protect your energy right now. Like, it's a lot deeper than, than, you, than the mind could fathom. Alright, it's a lot deeper than the mind can fathom. You have to really protect your spiritual energy right now. You feel me? Like I, I'ma keep I'ma keep I'ma keep re saying that over and over again. You have to protect the mind, the body, and the soul right now. Alright, this this is the time to the to, to to you know really be focused on the, the, the different energies that's coming into the planet. Alright, so you wanna close all vortexes. All right, any portals or any entrances that can enter enter around your your aura through through other people, you want to close those. You want to seal those off. It's, it's damn near time to get ready to go off grid. You hear me? Like we moving in, we moving into that, we moving into that time. All right, and it'll be a day where you turn it, where you when you wake up and you're not gonna be able to turn the internet on. You know, you're not gonna be able to come onto the website. All right, everything gonna be shut down. I've been warning y'all about that day for a minute since last year about this internet. You know what I'm saying? That's why I keep telling y'all just enjoy, you know, enjoy this phase of this system how you knew it because we in the end of it. It's imploding. It's imploding. Within itself. All right, because like I was telling the guy early on Instagram, you know, the planet herself is fighting back. You see all the flooding going on in the news, trying not to cover everything, but you can look into it for yourself. Okay? So, these entities are desperate. And it's not through your ancestors. We they not coming through the sexual energy exchanges. Only these devilish forces. They bloodthirsty, y'all. Watch these people that just want to hold random conversations with you that you meet. This ain't the time to be just holding no random conversations with people you don't know. This ain't the this ain't the time to be doing that, y'all. I'm being honest with you. You hear me? I I I I, I wouldn't just say that to tell you that. 
this ain't even the time to just be holding. You know, how you could, it was the time you could just hold random conversations with people. Not no more. You can't do that. You can't do that at all. You feel me? You can't do that right now. You cannot do that right now. It's warfare. Real spiritual warfare. Let him who has the eyes see clearly. All right? You got a lot of people trying to run back to the light. I can't, I've been saying this the last few days because this is what's going on. It's so many people that, that sold out, sold they sold. There's so many people that have been down here, um, 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 you know, committing to the low vibrational acts to, to keep the planet vibing low. And now that we in this transitional phase where, you know, all energies that don't need to be on the planet is being eradicated and removed. Period. All energies that do not need to be on the planet is being eradicated and removed. All energies. These entities will come to you through your family, through your, through your, through your friends, and through what everybody love the most right now. Everybody love what? Everybody love them some sex, especially if you of age. You see what I'm saying? Even if it's just with your partner. But you need to make sure that he or she is right within right now. Cause they're coming through. They coming through every. They 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 are coming through. They are coming through the lust. They are coming through the thoughts right now. They are coming through energy fields. And when you when you giving people handshakes and giving people conversation and attention and hugs, they coming through all that. They are coming through all that right now. All portals are open. It's a war for the souls and spirits. Good versus evil. Everything goes right now. Winner takes all. All right. I'm not warning you about this for no reason. I keep telling y'all, get the red sage. Red dragon's blood, I mean, because you can light that. And when you light that, it's going to let you know what's going on in your environment. If you light it and it's set on fire, then you know you got some real heavy-duty negative energy around you. That you need to remove. This is the time to, to figure that out. This is the time to, you know, I'm going to be dropping videos real quick on how to charge crystals, on how to consecrate them, you know. Cleanse them. Charge them, consecrate them. Well, cleanse them, consecrate them, then charge They are using all tactics. And you know how many people are unaware of real spiritual warfare and what it is? People people have not a clue. People think it's just a word because they have trained the mind through controlling the mind with mainstream media and movies and Hollywood that they've showed us and what they've showed us on TV. They have mastered training the mind, right? Through imagery to the point that most people can't fathom spiritual warfare. All right, so the gods and goddesses, you know, most individuals in here, you vibrate at a much higher frequency, so you're able to, to, to understand it. And this is why I said this sexual energy exchange, you got to limit it right now. This is the time to limit it. This is the time to, that's not saying you can't participate. But this is the time to, 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 to be very, very, very careful. All right? Because 
they do this to they do this they do this they do this in Hollywood to a lot of the celebrities too. That's how they get them. But I'm I'm saving that for the election tomorrow, the ride. But they do this, they they do this to a lot of celebrities. The same thing through the sexual energy exchange. All right. If they if they if they want to control you, remember they put nanobots in everybody. So if they if they want to control you, they this is another way that they they're coming at it now, through the sexual energy exchange that you're the energy you're transmitting. With those in front of you and anything, I mean, look, the, even with an image, like say, say they show you an image on your computer, right? And you get aroused by that image. That's a sexual energy exchange, and they can harness that frequency and control your frequency and transmit certain negative entities into you from that exchange. So it's not just with the people around you. You give off, you release certain fair, you release certain, um pheromones and smells and you release certain chemical energies from your body when you get aroused by things all right and and they notice so what they what they doing right now is they're using it even if they put an image in front of you like i say on, on instagram on your computer all right they can use that energy the moment you you the moment you give a feeling to that energy or if they show you a movie or show you something on netflix or show you a sex scene that still can they can harness that and transfer negative entities into your house and things around you right right now through that all right and that's what they're doing all right so beware of this sexual energy exchange that's why i said you want to guard your energy guard your energy guard your energy you know what i'm saying guard your energy now before it wasn't like that but but the, but they are so desperate right now and and you got these like i said you got some principalities some wicked principality some very strong negative forces is back right now and they are they are furious you know what i'm saying because they've been wanting to get back here and now they are back here and now they need bodies you know what i'm saying to try to fight this fight this ancient fight that's been going on pre-invasion since before since before even the human beings got here all right because like i keep telling you these reptilians all right who the reptilians you know what i'm saying are nothing more than the fallen gods who are masquerading as this extraterrestrial race, all right? So that's how deep it get. That's how deep it get, you feel me? That's why I keep...